Hi, journeymen. This is Abuela. We're on week 20. Okay, so uh, before we begin, uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day, once again, that you had given us, Lord. And Father, just be with each student, Father God, and with their families, and have everybody healthy, Father God, and um, just let them have that strength to do all their work, Lord, and to do a lot of playing, too. So, Father, we give you all the glory, in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen, Amen. Okay, let's begin here. Okay. We're going to start out with math. Okay. Math, circumference of a circle. Remember last week, I made this diagram. So the circumference is the edge of the circle. Last week, we did the middle, the area. We were finding the area. Now we're finding the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi, 3.14, times the radius. Okay, so remember uh, the diameter goes all the way across from one point to the next. It doesn't matter where it is, how it's facing. Okay, um, and your radius is half the diameter, and you always need the center of the circle. Okay, so um, circumference equals two times pi times radius. There's no multiplication sign, but remember last week we talked about that if you have two symbols together, it means to multiply. So here we did it. C equals 2 pi. This means open parenthesis, 4 miles, close parenthesis. When you see the parenthesis, that means to multiply as well. Simplifies to 8 miles, right? So because we are multiplying the 2 and the 4. So uh, 8 pi times pi miles. So now here it is here. 8 times 3.14. And that equals 25.12 miles. And that is my circumference. That's how you find it. Okay. I hope that was helpful. All right. Let's do Latin. Okay. First conjugation, perfect tense. E is the it. Imus is the serent. First conjugation, perfect tense. Now remember, memory masters, E, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. E, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. E, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect tense. For you to help uh, remember what's the first one, so it'll trigger off what the rest is. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, science here. Okay. Now, we all know Jesus is in control of all things, including learning. Amen, amen. Science. What is the second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamic, often called the law of entropy, is the second law of thermodynamics, explains why heat flows from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. Okay. Um, entropy, entropy means uh, randomness or disorder. So, remember the refrigerator um, last week? We talked about first, um, the first law of thermodynamics. If you um, touch the bottom or the back of the refrigerator, it'll be warm if it's on, okay? And that is the uh, heat engine, okay? That's going on, the heat machine. And it takes out the uh, warmth from inside the refrigerator, so it's cold in the refrigerator. Well, here, if I unplug the refrigerator, what's going to happen? In about three or four days, the inside of the refrigerator is going to be the same temperature as the outside of the refrigerator, even though if it's closed. Okay? And that is the uh, second law of um, the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy means randomness or disorder. And that's what happened. I disordered it when I unplugged the refrigerator. And physics calls it uh, the state of low energy. All right. Now, when I put that plug back into the wall, what's going to happen to my refrigerator? It's going to go up again, okay? Now, the first law of uh, thermodynamics is going to take place again, okay? And then the heat will be sucked out of the refrigerator and freezer and the cold air will go back in. All right, 
Let's take a look at English now. And a positive. And a positive is a noun, a pronoun, directly beside another noun that explains or identifies it. An example is right here. My dog Winston is big. Now I could read the sentence like this. My dog is big, but I have an appositive, Winston. It describes, Winston describes the dog. Okay, that's his name. So my dog Winston is big. And that's an appositive. Okay, all right. Now let's take a look at history. All right, here we go. Tell me about the Vietnam War. Okay, and I'm going to do it, um, you know, with you. Tell me about the Vietnam War, okay? In uh, 1965, President Johnson sent the U.S. troops to stop communist North Vietnam from capturing South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Okay, and I hope that was helpful. So um, again, you can do the hand movements or, you know, it's up to